The Bear Market Survival Handbook, What You Need to Know Get a comprehensive understanding of bear markets and learn strategies to navigate a market downturn with the Bear Market Survival Handbook. Discover how to protect your portfolio and profit in a bear market and make informed investment decisions. What is a bear market? A bear market is a period of time during which the stock market, or a particular sector of the market, experiences a prolonged downturn. This downturn is characterized by a decline in stock prices of at least 20% from their recent highs. The term bear market is thought to have originated from the way a bear swipes its paws downward as if to knock down prices. Bear markets can be caused by a variety of factors, including economic recession, high interest rates, political instability, and war. They can also be caused by a lack of investor confidence in the market. When investors become fearful or uncertain about the future, they may sell their stocks, causing prices to decline. During a bear market, investors typically experience losses in their portfolios as stock prices fall. This can be a difficult time for investors, as they may be tempted to sell their stocks at a loss in order to cut their losses. However, it is important for investors to remember that bear markets are a normal part of the economic cycle and that they often provide opportunities to buy stocks at lower prices. It's also important to note that bear markets can last for a significant amount of time, sometimes even several years. During these long bear markets, investors may become discouraged and may even abandon their investment strategies altogether. To navigate a bear market, investors should focus on maintaining a long-term perspective and sticking to a well-diversified investment strategy. This may include investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and cash, as well as looking for opportunities to buy stocks at discounted prices. Additionally, investors should keep an eye on economic indicators, such as GDP and unemployment rates, to gain insight into the overall health of the economy and the likelihood of a market recovery. What is a bull market? A bull market is a period of time during which the stock market, or a particular sector of the market, experiences a prolonged uptrend. This uptrend is characterized by a sustained increase in stock prices over a period of time. The term bull market is thought to have originated from the way a bull charges upward with its horns as if to raise prices. Bull markets can be caused by a variety of factors, including economic growth, low interest rates, political stability, and positive investor sentiment. When investors have confidence in the market and believe that stock prices will continue to rise, they may buy more stocks, causing prices to increase. During a bull market, investors typically experience gains in their portfolios as stock prices rise. This can be a favorable time for investors, as they may be able to sell their stocks at a profit. However, it is important for investors to remember that bull markets can also be a time of increased market volatility and that prices can also fall rapidly, creating a bear market. It's also important to note that bull markets can last for a significant amount of time, sometimes even several years. During these long bull markets, investors may become overconfident and may even abandon their risk management strategies. To navigate a bull market, investors should focus on maintaining a long-term perspective and diversifying their portfolios. This may include investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and cash, as well as keeping an eye on economic indicators, such as GDP and unemployment rates, to gain insight into the overall health of the economy and the likelihood of a market correction. Additionally, investors should also consider setting stop-loss orders or taking profits at predetermined levels to limit their downside risk. Bull vs. Bear Market Bull markets and bear markets are two distinct phases of the stock market that can have a significant impact on the performance of investors' portfolios. A bull market is characterized by a prolonged uptrend in stock prices, while a bear market is characterized by a prolonged downtrend in stock prices. Understanding the differences between these two market conditions is important for investors as they can help to inform investment decisions and manage risk. Bull Market 
A bull market is a period of time during which the stock market, or a particular sector of the market, experiences a sustained increase in stock prices. This increase in prices is usually driven by positive investor sentiment and economic growth. During a bull market, investors typically experience gains in their portfolios as stock prices rise. This can be a favorable time for investors to buy stocks, as they may be able to sell them at a profit later on. However, it's important to note that bull markets can also be a time of increased market volatility and prices can also fall rapidly, creating a bear market. Bear market A bear market is a period of time during which the stock market, or a particular sector of the market, experiences a prolonged downturn. This downturn is characterized by a decline in stock prices of at least 20% from their recent highs. Bear markets can be caused by a variety of factors, including economic recession, high interest rates, political instability, and war. They can also be caused by a lack of investor confidence in the market. During a bear market, investors typically experience losses in their portfolios as stock prices fall. This can be a difficult time for investors, as they may be tempted to sell their stocks at a loss in order to cut their losses. It's important for investors to remember that bull markets and bear markets are a normal part of the economic cycle and they often provide opportunities to buy stocks at lower prices during bear markets or sell at higher prices during bull markets. To navigate these market conditions, investors should focus on maintaining a long-term perspective and sticking to a well-diversified investment strategy. This may include investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and cash, as well as keeping an eye on economic indicators, such as GDP and unemployment rates, to gain insight into the overall health of the economy and the likelihood of a market correction or recovery. Should you buy in a bear market? The decision to buy in a bear market ultimately depends on an individual's investment goals and risk tolerance. For some investors, a bear market may present an opportunity to buy stocks at discounted prices. However, it's important to remember that during a bear market, stock prices can continue to decline, resulting in additional losses for investors who buy in at the wrong time. One strategy that some investors use during a bear market is to buy stocks of companies that have a strong financial position and a history of consistent earnings. These companies may be better equipped to weather a downturn in the market and may provide a more stable return for investors. Additionally, investors may also consider buying stocks that are undervalued by the market and have strong fundamentals. This approach is often called value investing. Another strategy that some investors use is dollar cost averaging, which is a strategy of investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of the price of the security. This strategy may help investors to avoid buying in at the top of the market and instead, take advantage of lower prices during a bear market. It's important to note that buying in a bear market can be risky, and investors should be prepared for the possibility of additional losses. Before making any investment decisions, it's essential for investors to conduct their own research and consult with a financial advisor. What should you avoid in a bear market? During a bear market, it's important for investors to avoid certain actions that can result in additional losses. Some things that investors should avoid in a bear market include Selling in panic, when stock prices are declining, it can be tempting for investors to sell their stocks in order to cut their losses. However, this can result in selling at the bottom of the market and missing out on any potential recovery. Chasing hot stocks, some investors may be tempted to buy stocks that have recently performed well, in the hope that they will continue to do so. However, during a bear market, it's important to stick to a well-diversified investment strategy and avoid chasing hot stocks that may not be well suited to the current market conditions. Leveraging, in bear markets, it's important to avoid leveraging your investments or borrowing money to invest. If the market continues to decline, leveraged investments can amplify your losses, which can lead to financial ruin. Overreacting to market news, bear markets often coincide with increased market volatility and negative news, which can cause investors to make emotional decisions. 
It's important to avoid overreacting to market news and instead, focus on the long-term picture. Not monitoring your portfolio, in bear markets, it's important to monitor your portfolio regularly to ensure that it is well diversified and that you are not overexposed to any particular sector or stock. This will help you to identify any potential risks and make adjustments as necessary. What is better bullish or bearish? Whether a bull market or a bear market is better depends on an individual's investment goals and risk tolerance. A bull market is characterized by a sustained increase in stock prices over a period of time. During a bull market, investors typically experience gains in their portfolios as stock prices rise. This can be a favorable time for investors to buy stocks, as they may be able to sell them at a profit later on. Bull markets are often associated with economic growth and positive investor sentiment, which can provide a positive environment for investment. On the other hand, a bear market is characterized by a prolonged downturn in stock prices. During a bear market, investors typically experience losses in their portfolios as stock prices fall. This can be a difficult time for investors, as they may be tempted to sell their stocks at a loss in order to cut their losses. Bear markets are often associated with economic recession and negative investor sentiment, which can create a challenging environment for investment. For some investors, a bear market may present an opportunity to buy stocks at discounted prices. However, it's important to remember that during a bear market, stock prices can continue to decline, resulting in additional losses for investors who buy in at the wrong time. For conservative investors with a low risk tolerance, the bull market may be better as there are generally fewer chances of losing money and more chances of gaining. For investors with a higher risk tolerance, a bear market may present more opportunities to buy stocks at discounted prices and potentially make larger returns when the market recovers. Conclusion Bull markets and bear markets are two distinct phases of the stock market characterized by prolonged uptrends and downtrends in stock prices, respectively. Understanding the differences between these two market conditions is important for investors as they can inform investment decisions and manage risk. A well-diversified investment strategy and monitoring of economic indicators can help investors navigate these market conditions 